It's July the 12th, 2023, and I declare the paddle steamer engine project complete as far as I'm concerned. I could think of other things to do, but all projects have to go come to an end. And for this one, for me, we've reached that point. I've got to move on. At this point, I'll own up and say that as this project went on a bit too long for my liking, I, um, I didn't do so much videoing. There's a few clips that follow, but much of what I subsequently did, I did not video. Just for a bit of interest, a couple of snaps of a prototype paddle steamer engine during renovation. Apologies, I can't remember where I got these pictures from. This is the underside view of the right hand cylinder for the paddle steamer engine. Um, obviously not fit to its frames or anything, but this arrangement now is pretty much complete. I've uh, fitted the drain cocks and some pipe work, not very neat, but it does work. I've uh, sorted out where there was a bit of friction on the piston and that now moves quite freely. So, uh, come the day, can't, um, this can go on the engine and it will go on the engine like that. I can't put it on the bench because I don't want to knock all my pipes off. But So that, so far, that I think is about done now. So that's cool. Machining the faces of the paddles to true them up. Note my homemade boring bar. It's quite handy when I need it. There's an awful lot of clunking to reprofile these paddles. Test. Can you spot a difference? I'm not sure I can actually. This one's machined, this one's not. Of course the casting does vary a little bit in thickness which uh, makes it slightly less obvious what's happened. But uh, you can't really tell by the front either. I do have a reason for doing this which is a secret, which I will reveal much later on. The plan is that by the time I reprofile the paddles and put the, um, the kind of wood on, the uh, depth of the paddle comes back to something like the original thickness, which indeed it does. An example of the planking attached to the paddles. This is an example of where the homemade uh, nut runners handy. There's a couple of 5BA studs here and I can't get my fat fingers in and it, take my word for it, it was convenient to erect the link motion first and I can't get my fingers in to do these studs up. So my homemade uh, nut runner job is the bee's knees for just putting them in the holes and tightening them up. Like I say, they don't have to be done up with the strength of garth, just enough to be fit for purpose. This is the first trial fit of a sponson for the, actually I think it's the left hand paddle really because 
if it was a boat it would go that way uh, and I've got a few problems got a few interference problems it isn't um, there's a bit of binding I think on some of these linkages which I've got to look at and I don't think I've got enough clearance between uh, this gear that works the paddle uh, and the sponson so I've got to have a look at that because as you retake the wheel probably can't see from this but the whole lot goes on the move which is a general sign that something's clunking into something else that really didn't ought to progress of assault I've uh, it's still only all temporary nutted and bolted together so I'm sorry that out yet but um, effectively this is the left hand paddle box because the direction of travel is kind of that way um, so I've sorted the left hand paddle box out and uh, not properly fixed to the uh, crank axle yet but the um, paddles turn round and although some of it's got to be sorted out the feathering mechanism that rotates the paddles does now work which it didn't for a long time so that now works and uh, the other thing I've done I've fitted a rod between the two sides of the hull to sort of stiffen the arrangement up a bit initially I thought this was my idea but actually I was looking at some photographs of uh, one or two prototype uh, steamships, paddle engine, paddle ships and um, I actually noticed that this was actually necessary on uh, some of the prototypes they had these uh, rods from side to side to stiffen the hull because of course in the day many of these things were I guess wooden hulls and perhaps were a bit flexible in terms of the forces imposed on the hull by the uh, action of the paddles so uh, nothing new I guess anyway slowly slowly the other thing I've had to do is to uh, fit a bracing stay because the um, unsupported paddle box was a bit on the uh, floppy side. I might put one at the other end as well, I haven't decided yet. So it's not finished and it's not running right, but... But it is going round. Oh, it took me six or seven months. Well done. Hang on. It's July the twelfth. 2023 and I declare the paddle steamer engine project complete as far as I'm concerned. I could think of other things to do but all projects have to go come to an end and for this one for me we've reached that point I've got to move on. Perhaps one or two things I'll point out. I did eventually manufacture, and I've got no idea what you call them, reach rods or something, attached to a small gearbox 
so that the individual Stevenson's link motion for each cylinder can be individually controlled and because the little gearboxes are worm drives I believe uh, wherever I set the gear um, it will stay where it's put that said the uh, same methodology was used on the dog clutch for connecting and disconnecting and I did find under running vibration uh, in the whole mechanism tended to turn the screw so I've overcome that by fitting uh, a very light locking screw with the handle which you just turn which just lightly grips the pinion so that uh, even if the worm vibrates a bit when this thing's flying around the pinion doesn't turn and that keeps everything where, it's where I intended it to be the water pump and uh, it's ram and eccentric and there's the water pump down there with its inlet outlet pipe work you probably can't see it too well that's all done and although I'm not going to pipe it up with any, uh, any water it's just a simple ram pump and I'm uh, confident that uh, if it was needed, which it never will be, it will work. I got so bored with this project that in the end I stopped doing videos on it to just try and make a bit of progress. So for example, I didn't do a video on the uh, manufacture of the stop valve. Uh, this is the main inlet steam stop valve to the two cylinders which I um, fabricate is the wrong word but turned up from various knobs of brass and uh, a hand wheel on off to control if it was ever steamed the steam into the uh, into the two steam chests in the same vein um, I didn't video the manufacturer of um, the outlet flanges from the steam cylinders, two of those um, so that if you ever wanted to, and I certainly won't you presumably could pipe up and connect the outlets from the steam cylinders into some pipe arrangement to send the exhaust system uh, up a funnel clearly I'm not going to do that because this thing's not going in a boat uh, but it's there uh, and it's just a, a tiny thing to finish the project off I did uh, attach timber to each of the paddles simply because I thought it looked better than the, uh, the metal finish that um, the thing came with I mean some of the in prototypes sometimes paddles were wooden the early ones and I think some of the some of the later ones in fact they were the paddles were metal because I could certainly see that in prototype there would be issues depending on what timber was used with paddles and water and timber in water etc etc rot and everything else but for the model I just think this looks better just out of interest and using my bathroom scales I decided to see approximately how much this uh, this model weighs and give or take the answer is it weighs about 29 pounds so there is a bit of weight to it I think if it was ever put in a boat the boat actually uh, would need to be fairly substantial um, to cope with the weight and you'd have to be jolly careful if you did put it in a boat where in the boat you actually positioned it if you were to avoid uh, unbalancing the whole, uh, the whole issue clearly I'm not going to do that the overall dimensions of the model is about 13 inches long 
approximately 14 inches wide side to side and the total height from the bottom of the hole to the top of the paddles seven and a half inches Trying to control the speed of rotation without a great deal of success, I think. Press it again it will stop. Okay? Yep. Can't really control the speed with the air supply. It runs far too fast. Okay. okay, I'm just going to show it running on one paddle with the dog clutch disconnected. I'm just going to show it with the other paddle wheel going round and by means of the Stevenson's link gear on this cylinder I've stopped the air going into this cylinder so this paddle wheel shouldn't turn and this one should so we'll wait to be impressed and it sort of works More air leaks than uh... just stop it for a minute. My air supply is not very good. But it demonstrates that you can work paddles independently. Oh dear. Rather like the Paddle Steamer project, everything comes to an end and we have decided to move house so the garden railway has been removed because the estate agent said he didn't think it actually enhanced sale projects how sad is that